Another day with another round of layoffs. And this time around, guys, the layoffs are from Alphabet, better known as Google, which you guys have seen other companies in this space, the big tech space, Microsoft, Amazon, Meta. We've seen them cut, you know, employees, cut jobs, start start laying off people. Now Google is doing that. They just cut, well, not just, you know, they're going to be doing it over, uh, you know, a period of time here, but they're cutting 12,000 roles approximately, which is going to be the biggest layoff the, the biggest round of layoffs that Google has ever done. Roughly 6% of their workforce is being cut out, guys, which, I mean, it's not like it's 20%. You know, we saw Twitter go in, you know, Elon go in on in Twitter and cut 50%, which is crazy, but it's a decent chunk, 6%. And what we see right here is the email from the CEO of Google to his employees. He said, I have some difficult news to share. No kidding. It is difficult news. Although at the end of the day, it's good for business. I mean, you could argue, you know, they're going to take resources from segments of the business that, you know, maybe they could be better put in other growing areas of the business. In this case, AI, you know, it sucks that people are going to lose their jobs, but it's the reality of business. So he said here, 12,000 roles are going to be, you know, cut from the company again, 6% roughly of the workforce. And he sent emails out to the U.S. employees, you know, other countries, yada, yada, yada. And this says, uh, this says here, this will mean saying goodbye to some incredibly talented people. And again, these people, I mean, they're, they're incredibly talented. It sucks that they're losing their jobs, but it's the reality of business here. And the fact that these changes will impact the lives of Googlers, Googlers, <laughs> weighs heavily on me. And by me, the CEO, and I take full responsibility for the decisions that led us here, which is good. We want to see the CEO of the company take accountability, be a leader. We don't want to see deflection or, you know, you guys know what I mean, right? We want a strong management team, which Google is one of the strongest out there. And he said here, over the past two years, we've seen periods of dramatic growth to match and fuel that growth. We hired for different, for a different economic reality than the one we face today. In other words, we're facing economic, uh, strong or, or uh, challenging economic times right now. In other words, is what the CEO of Google is saying. And he said, I'm confident about the huge opportunity in front of us to take strength of our mission, the value of our products and services, and our early investments in AI, which again, they're looking to get, you know, invest a lot more money in AI and take some of that capital from maybe these, you know, these jobs that aren't necessary and funnel it, hire more people, you know, in different segments of the business. It makes sense. And he said here to fully capture that we'll need to make tough choices. So we've undertaken a rigorous review across product areas and functions to ensure that our people and roles are aligned, are aligned with our highest priorities as a company, yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. So you guys get it. I mean, 12,000 people, poof, just like that are gone. And of course, they're going to be given, um, you know, a severance package. You guys can see all of the, you know, details right here. I'm sure there's more details that are not outlined in the email. Uh, but, you know, he says here, we'll pay 2022 bonuses and remaining vacation time. We'll be offering six months of health care, job replacement services, and immigration support for those affected. Outside the U.S., we'll support employees in line with local practices. We'll pay employees during the full notification period, minimum 60 days. We'll also offer a severance package starting at 16 weeks salary plus two weeks for every additional year at Google and accelerate at least 16 weeks of GSU vesting, which I'm not too sure exactly what that is, but I'll, I'll look deeper into that. But in other words, they're not just obviously leaving their employees high and dry. They are, you know, giving them a pretty good exit package there, which I'm assuming they would, they should, considering how much money they have and, uh, you know, them being one of the best companies out there in the world. They, they should. I mean, this is what they should be doing, which is great. And I'm not going to go through the entire email. I mean, you guys can probably go find it very easily on Google. And with that being said, let's dive into how the stock is performing, which you guys might be like, it's going to be uh, moving down, right? No, it's actually not moving down. Because again, like I said, this job, you know, the, these layoffs, it sucks that people are, are losing their jobs, but it is good for the business. It is good for the bottom line that they want to you know, cut these jobs and then focus on AI or other segments that are doing well. It's not necessarily for the bottom line. I mean, sure, if you think about it, yes, there is going to be uh, more money on the bottom line because there's less jobs, but you have to think about it. It's not like they're just going to take this money, keep it on the bottom line, and then it's just going to stay there. No, they're going to use this money, 
that that they now have from releasing these 12,000 jobs and then reinvest. Obviously, this is still a very, um, you know, growing, very strong growth company, at least in my opinion. Some people would argue, you know, Google's best growth is behind it, which probably, I mean, that makes sense in a way, but by no means... And, and, and okay, fine, that makes sense. There's no way they're going to be growing, you know, hundreds of percent revenue because the company is so big at this point. But that doesn't mean they're not going to grow a decent amount over the next five, 10 years, at least in my opinion. So at this point, Google is up 4.2%, which is a pretty solid move here. And the big level of resistance on Google, guys, the big level we have to watch is right at 100 to about 102 bucks a share. That's the high that we've seen. Uh, that's the, the main resistance that we've seen on the stock from the end of September, really, you know, even stemming back from, excuse me, guys, the middle of September. So yeah, watch out for this. We have earnings coming up later this month, I believe, or is it early February? Yeah, early yeah, early February on the 2nd, we have uh, Alphabet reporting earnings. So if this takes out 102 guys after earnings, maybe earnings are great. They shocked the world. Guidance is awesome. Who knows, right? If we break 102, this could really start the move from that point. We shall see. And like I said, and you guys probably know this, maybe you don't, Google is my biggest individual stock holding and I'm happy with it. You know, I'm not saying that I want people to lose their jobs, but I'm happy with where the company is headed. No doubt about it. And the fact that they're doing this, I'm just sitting back as a shareholder and I'm like, OK, it's all it's all in the hands of the management team, because at the end of the day, guys, what can I do about this? Nothing. I'm just a shareholder. And when you invest in stocks, you have to not just look at the company, you have to look at the management team and you have to ask yourself, do I have trust in this management team to navigate through rough times? And if the answer is yes, you have trust, then you should be all right. You shouldn't feel too nervous during, um, you know, rocky times, unless you're in some crappy penny stock, which in that case, you better be, uh, you, you, you better be nervous about that. Uh, well, maybe not. I don't want to tell you guys to panic sell or do anything, but if you're in a company, that, the bottom line is that has a strong CEO, great management team, you got to, you got to have some faith in them. You got to trust them and hold on, hold on tight. That's kind of what I'm doing with Google guys. You know, it's down a lot from all time highs, but I don't give a crap because I'm looking to hold this thing for years. And that's been what I've been telling you guys for a long time. And this this is nothing new. Google's been my biggest holding for uh, my biggest individual stock holding. Let me make that clear um, for years. I mean, a long I don't want to say a long time, like 10 years or 15 years or anything crazy like that. Uh, guys, I'm only my, I'm about to be 27 in May, you know, so I'm mid, mid late 20. So I haven't owned Google that long, but it's been my biggest holding for at least two and a half, three years, and I've owned it for probably five, maybe six, a good amount of years. Let's just put it that way. So yeah, Alphabet, I'm happy with it. We'll see how it goes. Earnings coming out in a couple of uh, a couple of days here. January just flew by, guys. It's almost February and about 11 days from now. And I also want to cover Tesla, which right now is up about 3%. And let me show you guys what I'm seeing on the intraday chart here on Tesla. This, to me looks like an ascending triangle. Do you guys see that? We have clear resistance on the intraday at about 131 to about 131.50, but at the same time, we've been making higher lows all intraday. You guys can see it here if I pull up the circle tool, boom, you guys see it right there, boom, you guys see it right there, right? All these higher lows. So if Tesla could end up plowing through 131.50, 132, there could be some more upside in the very short term. And you guys can see here, if I zoom in on the five day or pull the five day up, the high from two, three days ago was 137.50. If we do break 131, this could be setting up for a breakout maybe as soon as today. I mean, maybe into the end of the day today, you know, it's, it's possible when I'm filming, it's about 1 PM. We have three hours left of trading. There could be a breakout coming on Tesla. So I'm going to set my alert at 132. Let's put it, yeah, roughly 132. I'll do that now. Mark is at or above, and we'll see where it goes from there. And overall, guys, I mean, we're going to break down the markets more later and, and, you know, my later video. So make sure to subscribe. But right now, the markets are freaking on fire. I mean, we're up all across the board. Big tech is killing it. And it's really because of Netflix. I mean, Netflix reported yesterday the stock's up 7%. It kind of set the tone in a way, it kind of set the tone for the day to day. And you can see here, if I pull the three-year on Netflix, we're now finally starting to break 335 
340 and we're um, you know we're holding it and we'll see you know it's not 100% you know fully breaking out in my opinion towards well I mean it's too early to tell uh, but let's just see let's just see it's not fully breaking out yet I well it is breaking out it's been breaking out but I, I'm talking about the 335 40 level you know it's at 336 currently so we'll see we'll play it by ear but if we're able to really break out of 340 45 350 there could be a lot a lot more upside as you guys can see if I pull that three-year chart up on uh, Netflix here, we're going to notice it was at 400 bucks just about a year ago, you know, just back in uh, February, March of last year. So Netflix set the tone today. Tesla's ripping. Google, you know, they're, they're doing very well. And let's see, Coinbase, man, this stock has had a heck of a run. If I pull Coinbase up, sure, it's still on a downtrend on the, on the three-year chart. That's obvious. But on the four-hour chart, this thing is, it's almost doubled up. I mean, from $31 it hit it hit almost 60 bucks two days ago that is just a double almost almost a double up guys just about 85 percent in the span of two weeks so if you told me two weeks ago coinbase was going to be doubled in the span of uh you know a week two weeks i, I would have th thought you're crazy but it, it's exactly what happened as crypto in general let me pull it up and we'll end on this note guys crypto right now is it's been doing pretty well. You know, Bitcoin, as I'm making this video, if this wants to load, come on, I just saw it for a brief second. 21,300 is where it's at, which is up a good amount from where it was, you know, at the lows a couple months ago. And, you know, Ethereum, it's not letting me see it here. Where's that at? 1,500. Ethereum's up 5% on the day. Bitcoin's up 2.5% on the day today. So, not too bad, guys. A lot of these cryptos are running. I'm not convinced they're going back. I'm not convinced in the slightest yet that they're going back to all time highs. But in the short term, we're seeing a bit of a rally. And who knows? Maybe I'll make a video on uh, on Bitcoin breaking down the technicals. Because here, when, I, when I'm pulling up the all time chart, you guys obviously can't tell from my phone. It does look like Bitcoin is holding the uptrend. It looks like we are holding the highs here from back in 2019, being about um, you know 11, 12,000. It looks like we're bouncing off that point, and we're now about to break past the highs from the uh, 2017 bubble. Actually, it looks like we're already above that high. Uh, yeah, because that high was at about, what, 19-something? So, yeah, we'll, we'll do an update on Bitcoin. Let me know your thoughts in the comments on that, guys. Do you want me to, uh, do, you want me to do that? Do you want to see that? We'll do an update on the charts. And with that being said, yeah, I mean, that's it for the video. Crazy day so far. Google laying off employees. Tesla stock looks like it's about to break out, in my opinion. And we have a lot of movers overall. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to get your free money from Moomoo Moo and from Weeble. And if you want 50% off your first year of Seeking Alpha Premium, link down below. All those are linked down below. And just know, guys, the Moomoo Moo link, the Weeble link, the Seeking Alpha link, the Patreon link, all of those help out the channel. And without you, this and everything I do on social media will not be possible. I appreciate you all, as always. And by the way, go follow me on TikTok, at Stas Talk Stocks, Twitter, at Stas Fest, Instagram, at Stas Fest. I'll catch you guys in all those platforms. All those are linked down below as well. I'll see you uh, in the next video. Cheers, guys. Peace out.